believe it it's happening folks the man who brought us starlink tesla self-driving cars reusable vertical landing rockets and a renewed effort to visit mars has now successfully purchased twitter i can't believe it and hopefully returning the public square back to america's freedom of speech principles <laughs> And the best part, the communists are freaking out. From MSNBC's Morning Joe, a guy appropriately named Donnie Douche, who had this AIDS-infected take on Elon's purchase of Twitter. And regarding Twitter, it looks like at the end of the day, Elon Musk uh, gave the Twitter board an offer that they just may not be able to refuse. I think we're at the point where there was no white knight. They looked, there were lots of calls made to others to potentially come in and try to buy. Nobody else wants to buy it, at least at this price. Your thoughts on Elon Musk? Taking yeah, over simple, Twitter. Simple equation. I, I don't know. To me, when the, the richest guy in the world takes over the most important social media platform, that's just not a winning formula to me. It reminds me of old Bond movies where, you know, Dr. Evil and guys like that or Goldfinger were, were going to take over the media. Uh, I, I just, it, my tummy meter says there's something just not great about this. That's right. Donnie Dew says that his tummy meter says that there's something wrong with returning America's most important principle back to the public square. Perhaps if you think there's something wrong or nefarious about that, it's because you're the baddie. Based on Donnie's record, you don't need a tummy meter to see that's the case. Trump will not leave office in a transit, yes. in a normal, peaceful, even if he loses an election, whatever in a movie you think this guy is capable of doing to create a civil war, he will do, I know that's, I'm not speaking in hyperbole, and this does feel like the time the Democrats need to storm the gates. It's time for these cockroaches to come out from under their rocks. We are at war. It is time for the Democrats to wake up. We are playing against cheaters and liars or stealers, and with all due respect to Michelle Obama, when they go high, we, and when they go low, we got to do whatever we have to do. Whatever we have to do. And we're not going to necessarily play fair. We cannot lose the next election. We will go back 50 years. With all seriousness, the Mussolini, when Mussolini is standing up there on that terrace like this, with his face like that, to me, the parallels with Trump in terms of that, that self-satisfaction at, at the chaos he's creating, are, the parallels are stunning there. One in three Americans are racists. One in three Americans are terrified mm. that this country by the year 2040 is not going to be majority white. Honestly, we all know that these people are worried about the midterms and the 2024 election. So they were all holding out hope that they would still be able to manipulate the election by censoring their political opponents on the most prominent public square for free speech. They know it's the only way they can win, especially with the wokest cult being increasingly exposed, which is exactly why you see these efforts to censor people like libs of TikTok by the Washington Post, who no doubt tell themselves that their censorship and cover up of information that's harmful to the Democrat Party is saving democracy. We've always known these people were fake journalists, but now you have confirmation. Actual journalists don't work to cover up information, they expose it. All these people care about is suppressing those they don't like while telling themselves it's for a good cause, which is exactly why this country's currently being inundated in apocalyptic propaganda about democracy and global warming. And their warped minds, it justifies all these insane, actually anti-democratic actions. What do you all think? Are we better off with Elon Musk or a cadre of communist information ministers? Let me know in the comments after you hit that like button and make sure to keep checking back for new content. See you all next video. Thanks.